Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another recording of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. We are expanding our collection of people we know. You can now see that there are no random people, except for this guy. That you can't, cannot hit Y and choose to change into. That's because we have unlocked enough people. And that really has nothing to do with anything. We need to take on Count Dooku, so let's do it. Just because he has a dumb name, I think he needs to go down. But Dooku. That sounds like something you'd ask a two-year-old. What should we name the bad guy in this movie? Let's call him Count Dooku. The battle rages between the clone forces and the Republic. Just, see, there was this whole, like, different story going on. Um, it's not even, uh, it's not even the Rebels and the Empire as it was in Episode 4, 5, and 6. It's a whole different group of people and a whole different politics. And I guess in general, it is always the Sith versus the Jedi, but that seems kind of ridiculous uh, because that doesn't get played out enough for that to actually be it. Well, there's one way to collect this. Sometimes you have to suffer for your collection. Cannot use this. That would take me up, I think, up there to another collectible. I'm gonna go take on Count Dooku. So, much like the fight with Boba Fett, this is uh, this is how the fight with Boba Fett actually should have gone. Is that we should have had to run through at least three hallways, and that would feel a lot more like a uh, like a Lego minifig level versus just fighting wave after wave in the same location. Uh, that. I'm seeing a lot of silver stuff over here. So let's see. Can we jump in this? No. That's just a model on the wall, I guess. I thought that was a ship. Can we stand on this? This guy will go jump on this one. And we'll do a little switcheroo, I suppose. And I imagine I cannot make that jump. So here's a here's another couple jumps. This one he has to jump two. And then I have to jump two. And I don't think I can make that one either. I think that's a Jar Jar Binks jump. As Jar Jar is given the special ability to be able to jump high. Higher than anybody else. So we need these two guys to... Because this is how you would open the door. At no point anywhere would the, you have like guards above a doorway and they just pull two switches at the same time to open the door. That's just silliness. I, so the question is, where is the red... Um, where is the red power brick? Uh, True Jedi. Is it here? Or am I gonna just end up taking on Count Dooku? Or is it in some section that I've totally missed? Alright, I see it. It's pointing. It's pointing. Um, it looks like it's up there. 
Well, jeez, how do I get up there? I have no clue. I have no clue whatsoever as to how you get up there. So let's go ahead and just take out Count Dooku. So this is the introduction of the actual like parry and thrust lightsaber actions where you have to tap on X a little bit more. Throwing things at me. Use the force to throw it back. Ah, uh, that explains why I couldn't blow those things up. Throw it right back at him. Dooku is apparently a better Sith lightsaber fighter than Anakin and Obi-Wan combined. Is that Obi-Wan Kenobi? Let's see if the plan is. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, yes. Obi-Wan Kenobi just got blown up. So now we're playing as Yoda, who comes out of nowhere and we have not seen in this game at all. And he is walking with a limp already in this episode two. Uh, he can hop just fine, but he is still walking with a cane. Maybe he's just doing a Jedi mind trick type deal. He's convincing them that he's weak and helpless. Knows Yoda has a different style of attack. It's like double jump and then this does a spin attack instead of a ground pass. And when you hit X, it is definitely something bad. So he's not throwing things now, he's using the evil force to keep one character back. So we've got to switch to the other guy while he's distracted. Hit him. And that's all it really takes. And we're just gonna do this a few times. There we go. Until we break him. They just give him a ridiculous amount of health. Which, I kind of like it. I mean, I kind of like breaking the whole Nintendo mold of you have four hearts, you have three hearts type stuff. Oh no! He escaped because we saved Anakin. So... How you were supposed to have been able to get the red power brick up there is really beyond me. I, I assume it probably has to be gotten in free play mode. We got the one gold brick from being true Jedi and we got one gold brick from beating this level so we should be at 20 gold bricks which is good because that means that we can continue on since it's only been nine minutes. Uh, uh, we can continue and finish the story and then just check out the extra stuff in the same. Uh, level, I guess. I guess that's fine, even though I potentially would want to keep those as separate episodes. So that's Emperor Palpatine there. So 
compared to the first episode, the episode two, if it was ever its own separate game, I would say is was. Um, I think probably episode two, Attack of the Clones, is probably not a super great movie either, but I don't know how I would rank episodes one, two, and three. Uh, but as far as the game, having two flying around missions is annoying. Uh, having one of the other missions be only set in a single location is annoying. And that just leaves three other locations that are alright. Not really blow blow my socks off type uh, type levels. Now are we seeing cutscenes from the entire series or are we seeing cutscenes from just episode two is the question. It, when we saw cutscenes from the first one we uh, when we saw the credits for the f episode one, it, it seemed to show pictures from parts of the game that we just hadn't seen. Um, what would be really interesting is if they remade this game and put the voices in that that they now do, that modern TT games, Lego games now have, where the characters actually talk and have personalities. I that would be interesting. Uh, because them staying silent and gesturing is kind of funny, but it's it's probably not conveying enough of the story as you would want. Uh, if if you were to give me a quiz about episode two, Attack of the Clones, I would almost certainly fail it because I have no idea whatsoever what really happened there. I could tell you what I think happened, but I doubt it's going to be right. Uh, let's see. I think it, most of Attack of the Clones is just the clones. A conspiracy has discovered that they're trying to make clone troopers, if that's what they're called. And uh, that's probably illegal, and they're following Obi-Wan, who's trying to protect Padme, and yet there's a bounty hunter that tries to kill her, and then they chase after the bounty hunter, and eventually they run into Jango Fett, and Jango Fett leads them to the clone facility, and they find the conspiracy there, and all of that, I believe, leads to them figuring out that Count Dooku is the bad guy, and they probably don't know anything about Emperor, Emperor Palpatine, who probably isn't called Emperor Palpatine yet and may very well not even look like he was depicted in this uh, in that last cutscene because he probably is younger and healthier I would bet so sadly there are going to be more flying levels uh, you can't just leave uh, leave them out uh, or skip them yeah, there, there really is no way to skip them because you have to beat every single part of an episode to get to the next part, so you, you have to muddle through them, unfortunately. If they were going to remake it and put the voices in, which would be a really big expense to just add voice actors, uh, only the game Destiny in recent memory has actually gone through the effort and expense to replace or revoice characters in a game. Uh, I've not really heard any other game ever doing it. But it, if they were going to remake this, yes, they could make it a lot more concise. There is some thought that they should do that. Uh, this isn't actually the only LEGO games, though. Uh, it's a little confusing because there is LEGO the original series, LEGO Star Wars the original series, and then LEGO Star Wars the prequels, I don't think it's really called that, uh, but those get combined into this game, Le LEGO the Star Wars the Complete Saga, and that would be the only game you'd want to get for those, 
But then there is also a Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, which is its own separate game. And I will cover it at some distant point in the future. Uh, it does some things drastically different, like almost every Lego game does. And it has some positive improvements and some negative improvements, uh, which is an interesting phrase, but it is quite accurate. Sometimes people make negative improvements. They they sit there and they try to make something better and they end up making something worse. Uh, this is weird that they, they're putting all this legal ease at the bottom of credits. So we are at 13.6% as far as our total collection now in the game. You know, I don't want to play as Yoda because Yoda would take forever to walk from one place to another. So we have the character bonus area that won't get us anything, but we could play it. Uh, it's much like the character bonus that we played before. It's just you have a you're playing against your partner if it's two player to get to a million studs, and if you're playing by yourself, you're just playing against the clock to get to a million studs. We don't have the mini kit bonus because we haven't collected all the mini kits yet, but I imagine that is going to be very similar to the character bonus and neither one of those give you red uh, gold bricks the super story gives you gold bricks so you have to get a high score above a hundred thousand which is really easy and beat it under an hour which should be able to do it but I'm not sure I'm still thinking about whether I'm gonna actually uh, bother to put those sections on uh, record those sections because it, it would just be me running through the levels pretty fast uh, and it would be about the fourth or fifth time to run through levels so we've gotten some more gold bricks we still can't build number six here which requires 50 but we can build five and four now because we have 20 and three because we have 10 but since we already did one, and it just didn't stay built, uh, we will now do two and see, oh, we can't do two. Darn it. Of all the luck, number two it requires 30 gold bricks. So we won't do two as it is. Uh, there would be no real reason to do three because then we'd just be seeing a level we haven't seen yet, I believe. Or I could be wrong about that, actually. Let's actually, instead of speculating that number two is going to be something from that was cut out of chapter two, let's go into three. Gunship Cavalry, so nope. I don't think we've done that before. And this one is called A New Hope, which we know we haven't done that one. And this one is Lego City. So, Lego City is going to take a while. And I don't think these give you any bricks, gold bricks, so. I guess we can just kind of run into Lego City and see, since it since it doesn't really matter. If it's not going to give you gold bricks, it's not going to give you gold bricks. Uh, so this will be our showing off of Lego City. In an infinite universe, where all things are possible. The epic struggle for the Skywalker family since turmoil throughout the Force. And in another galaxy far, far away, echoes of this drama live on, and a new world awakens in Lego City. Now, there is a Lego game called Lego City. I don't think it is particularly 
a Lego style game as we know them today. So maybe I would play that game. Maybe it's not on PC. But it, it would be very hard for me to follow that game since there's not going to be a lot of story. And in the same way, it's kind of hard to play this level because all this is about is running around this pre-built area, which is cool. We can go down the slide and collect all of these. I don't believe any of the extras are turned on. Nope, it's turned off and I can't turn it on. So you have to actually play this without the doublers probably I would bet. Here's a creature we haven't even seen yet in the game. Uh, this is very, looks, very much looks like a slight combination of Lego creatures and a standard Lego city build, which personally, even as far as your interest in uh, my interest in Legos, I don't really have a huge amount of interest in playing, uh, playing with just standard Le Lego city builds. Most of those kids don't interest me enough. Here's a guy that's stuck back behind here. There's a puzzle here. Uh, let's see, you put this down, and then you put this down. This is in every LEGO game, there's a LEGO city that's designed a little bit differently, and all of them have this puzzle. So every letter you spell correctly gets you some, some studs. I'm at 22,000 already. Uh, and you're trying to get to a million pretty fast. As fast as possible. If you can beat the time, I think there's there's probably an achievement in there for you. If you haven't figured out what I'm spelling yet, I'm spelling Lego with these pieces, which I don't even know what these black bars are between the Legos. I I've never seen that in an actual Lego kit where Legos are connected like that. That's something new to me. So I'm at 36,000. There's all kinds of little things you can play with that but you practically have to do every single bit you have to do everything including killing and smashing everything uh, that you can possibly kill smash usually you can force something and then smash it uh, to get some more there are some things hidden like this is hidden uh, back here is a tractor that you have to put together. When you put it together, you get more studs, and then you get this line of blue studs that you're supposed to follow. And if you follow it all the way, good. And if you don't follow it all the way, well, then you won't get as many studs as you'd like. Here's a incredibly slow race cart. So all kinds of stuff, uh, but Lego City's pretty boring, so I may not actually bother to play this on screen too. Uh, just a, it's gonna be a lot of running around. It could easily take you an hour. Uh, because what eventually ends up happening without fail is that you will go here and and get 99.9% .9 of everything uh, blown up and hit and then there will just be one small thing that has that last 10% of 
that last one percent of what you're trying to collect up in you, and, or there'll be some trick here. And so I've I've spent a considerably de decent amount of time here, but that's just not something I'd want to do. Here's these guys are incredibly slow, too. So yeah, I just don't think I would play this level uh, by my uh, uh, on screen. Plus, I don't think it gives you any gold breaks for playing the level, anyways. Uh, it's just a little added thing. But like I was saying earlier, I want to point out that if you do play all of LEGO Star Wars 2, I think that's got you set for entire, your entire life. And if you want to play more LEGO games, which you probably should, but just not the same one a second time, go to LEGO Indiana Jones. So let's watch the LEGO Indiana Jones trailer uh, before I wrap up. It's kind of silly to put a trailer here, but we'll do it. This is the next game that they came out with in the series. It's pretty good. He has discovered the world's most sought after treasures. He has become known as the greatest adventure hero of Just all time. Just the voice overview. But next year is so shocking. Adventure. Bricks new ground. Uh, just the fact that someone's Lego talking Jones, the video game. is really shocking after playing this game for From and not hearing anything. Lego Star Wars. Play through all three classic Indiana Jones films. In one it does not have the crystal skull, the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I will tell you that much. But Lego Indiana Jones, the video game. There is a second Lego Indiana Jones that then puts in, I believe, the young, some of the young Indiana Jones stories, or something like that. They just add some more stories, anyways. Uh, but I still don't think it has the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I don't believe the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull ever gets added because maybe it came out after the game came out or maybe it's just because everybody realized even at that point that it wasn't that fun of a uh, movie. Uh, there's nothing new out here to collect or do. We still can't get into the Bounty Hunter, Jabba the Hutt section. Uh, it would be nice if they said you need the Jabba, you need to play the main story mode to get in here, or you need a Bounty Hunter to get in here. Something to just indicate what that is. Here is whatever is going to get built when we have all 160 of the gold bricks. And we can look here, I suppose, and we can just see our terrible let's see collection of unfinished things we almost have that one but you're not gonna finish any of them until you play in free play mode there's always gonna be one that's hidden somewhere even if you get nine out of ten there will be one mini kit hidden somewhere and that's as far as we go count Dooku we only got three so, that's it for Attack of the Clones, and next recording we will start in on episode 3. What is episode 3 is called? Let's see. The Revenge of the Sith. Why are they taking revenge? As far as I've seen in this story, they, they've been winning. So we can't even play the other levels until we beat the first one and I think the way it goes is you have to play one then you have to play two then you have to play three so we'll start Revenge of the Sith and it will be the battle over Corsicant will that be a flying around level or not
That is the question that we will find out. Hopefully not. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.